Someone's close by. Are the wolves back again? Mm, no. It's a human scent. Don't tell me those haunt at the back. When will they ever learn that they can never capture any of us? Hold on. Hmm, that scent seems familiar. Hmm, I can't be mistaken. Hmm, <laughs> I was right. It is you. Such a curious person. Why are you wandering here alone, huh? I thought the village chief made a strict mandate not to wander. No local townspeople aren't even allowed to enter this forest. Look at you, wandering and all. Not even bothered by the fact that you're already lost. I wonder. Should I reveal myself? Will you be scared if you see me? <laughs> huh? That's... that's deadly. Won't you look at that? I just revealed myself. Um, hi. You look so... surprised. Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> Who am I? Well, I'm a citizen of this forest. Ah, so you know about our kind. Yes, I am a vampire. <laughs> Scared? Well, I get that every time. Don't worry though, I, I won't harm you. That's weird to say, I'm a vampire. Yup, so just continually be afraid of me. Hmm? You're not scared? Really? Taken aback. You're one tough human. Why aren't you afraid of me? Are you scared about what I might do? Friendly. You're easily fooled, little mortal. I am a vampire, remember? I may just be acting kind so I can have you for dinner or offer you to my friends. How sure are you I won't do any of those? I wouldn't tell my intentions if I were to act on them. <laughs> Very clever model. So, why are you here? If I was right, local mortals aren't allowed to enter this forest. You must have the village chief's consent before doing so. And the village chief won't allow just one person to wander aimlessly in this area. How'd I know all those? I have my ways, mortal. <laughs> so, tell me, you were just curious? So, that means you snuck out? But aren't there guards positioned outside your entrance gate? You managed to outsmart them. Unbelievable. By the way, do you remember your way back? Because it seems like you've come way too far. <laughs> You need to scan your surroundings every time, mortal. You can't just be walking around without aware of your surroundings, especially in a place like this. You're one with the nature. Huh. Funny. But I can help you get your way back home if you allow me to. You'd like to explore the forest more? Are you sure? It's already midnight. You'll be fine as long as you're with me. Are you sure you can trust me? Fine. I can walk with you and then help you find your way back. 
Nah. No touching. I'm sorry. So, what made you curious about this forest that you even took a huge risk of? You wanted to know what's in here. <laughs> well, trees, flowers, grass. I mean, what do you expect? It's a forest. Well, thank you for thinking this forest is more beautiful than other forests. <laughs> yes, I can read minds. It's the unique ability I have. What? Where? Ah, uh, that's a moonflower. It only blooms at night, which makes it unique. Oh, I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Although it is beautiful, it's actually lethal. Um, that is also lethal. <laughs> nope, deadly. You really don't know anything about plants, huh? And here I thought you knew a lot about them since you're so fond of flowers. Uh huh? H how did I know? Um, <clears throat> I read minds, remember? <laughs> Anyhow, I know a place we can actually go to. It's safe and I think you'd like it. Come on, it's just close by, so we'll get there soon. We're nearly there. Here we are. Amazing, isn't it? Let's settle, shall we? Mm-hmm. I get this view a lot. Of course, this is my favorite spot. From here, I can view the sun and the moon rays. And from here, I also gaze upon the forest. This is the perfect place for me. Hmm? Ah, yes. I can withstand the sun. Um, no, I'm a half-blooded vampire. My mother is a human. Nope. Whether you're half-blooded vampire or a pure-blooded one, vampires can withstand the sun. Why do you think vampires can't withstand the sun? <laughs> you humans read way too many fictional plots. Yes, we actually can withstand the sunlight. Based on how you react, I guess this is a big revelation for humans. <laughs> I see. But then again, of course, I still enjoy sleeping during the day and staying up at night. What else do you want to know about us? Our abilities? Well, what? Too many to mention. We have superhuman speed, strength, senses, endurance, regeneration, and can transform. There are more, but it's a bit too much for a human mind to take in. Oh, no, 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 I'm not looking down on humans. I just... you get it. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, we can erase, alter, and collect human memories, but don't worry though, I won't do it to you. Companion? Well, the animals? No, there are other vampires around here, but I just don't hang with them. Oh no, don't worry, they're far from where we are. They only visit here at least thrice a month, I think? Where do they stay? Um, you see the mount- that mountain? No, the one before that, the furthest mountain. Yeah, there's a cave there, and that's where they live. But being here alone is fine. I love it here, and it's peaceful. Lonely? I think not. Am I bad at lying? I guess sometimes I am, and I know I have my fellow vampires up there, but they're too far and the place is very secluded. 
and I could have interacted with humans, but ever since the rumors of killing in this forest, no human ever visits this place apart from the hunters. No, no one's ever saw me. You're the first human to. You better feel honored. The hunters? They're trying to track me down. Yes, I am referring to the rumors, but believe me, I never took part in that activity. You know? You, you believe me. That's good to hear. Hmm? Those that have been killing the humans. Well, those that have been killing these humans are the vampires from that mountain. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. They're hungry monsters who devour humans. To them, they see humans as food, but to me, I see them as people apart of this world. I mean, I am half human, therefore I keep my distance from them. Yes, I wasn't lying when I said they'd come to this place. But not to visit me because knowing there's a village nearby, they came here to hunt humans and drink their blood. But no, I don't communicate with them. When I know they're here, I keep my distance from them. Besides, they uh, hate me. One, because I am half human and some of them actually would like to drink my blood. Yeah, we can drink each other's blood. Well, the second reason is a story. I know, I can... I, I can tell you. In fact, I grew up with them. My mother died right when I was born. Therefore, my father took care of me and I was surrounded by them. So, that means I have drunk human blood before. <laughs> but anyway, about nine years ago, my friends and I visited a forest where humans aimlessly lore around that place. I was told we were only going to scare the humans, but they attacked a group of four humans, but one of them managed to escape. Two of my friends and I chased after him and tracked him down in a cabin. There was a lady that owns that cabin and let the young man in. When I looked closer from that window, I saw a family and tried to convince my friends to turn around. Unfortunately, they pushed me away and attacked the humans in that cabin. I finally had enough and blew my top when I saw that lady get attacked and her young child gets threatened. I didn't think twice to protect those humans. From then, I was caught a traitor, never returned with them, and stayed in this forest. By now, all vampires from up there hate me, and so, when I heard they were visiting this place and began killing humans, I tried my best to protect some of them, but as if they knew I was going to, they always came in group of seven people, therefore, I wasn't able to save them all. Oh, uh, what? Oh, um, yeah, thank you for those encouraging words. It's reassuring and I never heard those words spoken to me before. What? No. I mean, you shouldn't be visiting this place occasionally. You can get in trouble, you know. I don't want to put you in danger. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. I guess we have to take you back now. Come on already. Okay, we're here. Just walk straight ahead and you are led behind your village so you can sneak in from there. By this time, your hunters or village guards are gathering in front, so no one will spot you if you take this path. 
I told you I have my ways. I guess this is goodbye for now. It was nice meeting you. Um, your way is that way. Hey, shouldn't you be going already? Why aren't you responding? Do you need anything else? Hmm? What? Do you want to tell me? Y y you know me? What do you mean? I'm your what? Guardian. What do you mean I've been following you? Wherever you go, you see my shadow? You knew I was following you? Is that why you came to the forest in the first place? Oh, you really are a curious mortal. Well, it seems like you solved it, detective. Hmm, you're right. I have been following you and watching you for the past years, in fact. Uh, wait, is that why you weren't scared of me? I always made you feel safe. I yes, I'm honored for that. Um, what are you? What what was that? Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Well then, uh, you better be going. Of course, you'll see me again, and don't worry, you already know that wherever you go, I'll be watching over you. I'm sorry I couldn't protect your mother.